Hey fellow tennis nerds, this weekend I was fortunate enough to be invited to Labor Cup for a day thanks to Wilson Tennis and uh, it was a great day full of interesting stuff. We started at 7 in the morning with a hit on the official Labor Cup practice court, played fast, nice, soft bounce, all blacked out. It was a really cool experience. I was there with a few other Wilson reps and people who work on the marketing team and uh, I must say again thanks for the invite. I also received a Wilson Pro Staff RF97 autograph. You know I like that racket but we also had a bunch of other Wilson rackets to choose from. It seems that most of the Wilson official team actually enjoy the clash. My favorite is probably the Blade 98. The new one has a great feel. I really like it. It has a slightly higher swing weight than the predecessor. Nice and soft on the arm. Uh, just a lovely stick to play with. As you know you can find the review on TennisNerd.net and you YouTube. After the practice session and trying all these rackets we got to eat breakfast in the 200 club which is kind of the VIP lounge at the Labor Cup in Geneva and they offered us a nice breakfast. Then we had the opportunity to go on a behind the scenes tour. We weren't really allowed to take uh, photos everywhere but it was a pretty impressive tour. As a tennis nerd and racket enthusiast I really enjoyed visiting the Wilson stringing room, talking to the guys there, looking at the pro player rackets. It was really cool to be behind the scenes, you get into the player room, there's Rafa on the bike. Fognini and team, they're warming up. You enter the court, you find Bjorn Borg standing there fiddling with his racket. I went up to him and had a conversation in Swedish since we're both from Sweden originally. He's one of my idols growing up and it was uh, a very cool experience for me as a true tennis nerd and also got to watch a bit of their practice. Also, Rafa is a class act. He said hi to everyone despite probably having no idea who we were. So really a top experience for any tennis nerd and tennis enthusiast. So that concluded the Wilson part of the day. We then had tickets to watch the event. Uh, there was four matches on the first day. This was on Friday. And I must say that the Labor Cup is probably the most exciting tennis event I've ever been to. I've been to the Slams, a few Master Series and the 500, 250 tournaments as well. So I've been traveling quite a bit as a tennis fan and tennis nerd but this one kind of topped it all with its impressive production value the music the drama the camaraderie between the players the two teams really fought their hearts out to win this thing it was just so exciting to see you also had some really interesting coaching going on between uh, Roger and Rafa and the other players uh, it just seemed like they all enjoyed this event so much and it was then very easy to enjoy it as a spectator as well I recorded the intro which was really impressive with the music, court projections and the screens. They just did a top-notch job. Everything was blacked out and then you had blue for Team Europe and red for Team World. And it's just a, a really a thrilling event. You felt like you were part of Star Wars at times and for a tennis enthusiast it's as good as it gets. You got goosebumps from hearing the crowd going nuts over Federer and Rafa when they were introduced. It just shows how much these players mean to tennis. And despite all their accolades and their titles, this tournament still seems to mean a lot to them as well. And they were really fighting, they were trying everything to win, and it just came down to the wire and Team Europe uh, got the better of it. You have to feel a bit sorry for Team World, but it was just such a brilliant contest for both teams and for all the spectators. And I would love to go again next year if I could. Uh, we'll see about that. But I can really recommend any tennis fan to visit the Labour Cup, especially before Federer and Rafa retires, because it won't be exactly the same feeling in that event without these two guys that uh, seem to love tennis so much, seem to have such a good chemistry between themselves and do so much for tennis and their actual teammates when they coach them and the, you really get an understanding for how much uh, these players understand about the game and why they are where they are in the tennis hierarchy. So brilliant event, I really loved it, big thanks to Wilson for inviting me. I have a separate review of the new Pro Staff RF97 coming up very soon. It's the same racket but with a new cool paint job. But since it's such a bestseller and popular among the fans, I still think it deserves another review, albeit a bit short. 
Thanks for watching this brief Labor Cup video. Please click like if you like this type of content. Also subscribe to Tennis Nerd YouTube. Check us out on Tennis Nerd Insta and our Tennis Nerd Facebook page as well as the Tennis Nerd Twitter account. If you're a true Tennis Nerd fan and want to know more about rackets, strings and other tennis gear, you should become a patron at patreon.com slash tennis nerd. For only two bucks a month, you get exclusive content every week. Thanks a lot for all your support, guys. I really appreciate it. And I hope you get to play some tennis. It's Roger Federer that claims the Labour Cup for Team Europe. All set, 2018 Labour Cup. He's done it, and once again, Team Europe win at the Labour Cup. for this weekend's competition. 16 double titles, including Roland Garros from the United States, Patrick McEnroe. No stranger to the team competition winning two Davis Cup titles in Sweden's Thomas and Quist. Seven majors on his resume. It's a legendary team world captain, John McEnroe. champion and the captain for Team Europe from Sweden. Please welcome the original King of Play, Bjorn Borg. <laughs> Final this year and climbed to number 43 in the world. It's Australia's man with a mustache, Jordan Thompson. Please welcome from Canada, Dennis Shapovalov. <laughs> Nick Curios. <laughs> Giant Milos Raonic. <laughs> 12,000 aces in his career. It is a six foot ten inch Georgia Bulldog, John Isner. In the Mediterranean Sea, in Monte Carlo, it's Italy's Fabio Fognini. Sitsi Pass. Germany, it's Alexander Zverev. From Austria, it's Dominic Thiem. Grand Slam since later. Please welcome to Geneva the Rocket.